Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how you can play Project Zomboy without the need of Steam. Uh, now, as you can see, I own Project Zomboy. So this information was passed later on to me uh, by the dev. Um, I, I just simply asked, look, you know, sometimes I'm, you know, I may go somewhere and I, on my laptop and I would like to play it, you know. Um, and he said, oh yeah, okay, no, you're, you're, this is how you do it. All right. So this is the updated version of the video. Uh, the previous version I did showed you uh, an older version of Project Zomboy, but this is how you do it with the latest ones. All right, so the reason why I have Steam up right now is just to show you so I can find it quickly without me rummaging through. Let's go browse local files. You'll see down here, JSON files. All right, so since I'm running Windows 10, uh, which is 64-bit, there's no 32-bit version I'm aware of, but then again, I could be totally wrong. Open it up with your your favorite uh, editor, your text editor. Mine is Notepad++. And you'll see down here, uh, dzomboy.steam equals 1. Put that to 0. Now, mind you, if you put this to 0, you're not going to be able to join any multiplayer games that I'm aware of. Now, I just have to make sure that, uh, and, but, uh, version 4.1 isn't, uh, doesn't have multiplayer just yet. Um, the, uh, the IWBOMS version. But anyway, save that. Now, if you want to, it's always best to back up whatever you edit. So I'm just going to back it up before I, I already saved that, didn't I? Dang it. Okay, well, anyway, back it up before you edit it. I know what I'm doing there, so. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I'm confusing the living daylights out of everybody now because I just did that. But anyway, making that small change. Now I'm going to get it out, out of Steam. Now I'm going to go to, I now know where it's located. I think it's on G. Oh. Common. Product on board. I'm going to go down to this here. I wouldn't start the batch file. You can, but I, I don't. So we're going to do Project Zomboid. As you can see, I don't have Steam active. And just let it do its thing. Now, if you want to know, uh, oh, geez, yeah, but I have a couple of mods that work with uh, Project Zomboid. Well, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to here to do it. You're going to have to put your mods into here. Now, all the mods that I have posted here are for an older version I have, um, which is 4.0. All these mods will work with uh, 4.0. So if you're using mods for Steam and you want to use them for your offline version, uh, just stick them in your users, your computer name, Zomboid directory, and the mods folder. And just stick them there. That is how you do that. Now here are the mods that, like I've show, are, I've already shown you. Um, but uh, well, there you go. I mean, that, that's how you do it. And if you want to go back to uh, Project Zomboid uh, for Steam, I'm just going to quit this. We're going to go back in to where I have Project Zomboid installed for Steam. I would go back into Project Zomboid 64.json. You would do the same thing for the 32-bit version if you have running on a 32-bit version, like Windows 7 32-bit. Go to dzomboid.steam, replace the 0 with 1, save it, and now you're going to be requiring Steam. Steam must be running to play this game. Log back into Steam, and off you go as normal. Bye for now.